In this video tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the Rotate Axis tool to produce a linear origami uh, surface, something like this, which I can uh, change the degree of rotation and open up or close. And also, we can just uh, decrease or increase the number of these uh, linear array of the four. So basically this is a video tutorial about rotate axis. You can find the rotate axis by double clicking on the canvas and searching for AX. Uh, and uh, you can also find this tool in the transform menu and uh, in the Euclidean rotate axis tool. Okay, to start from uh, scratch, I'm going to use a surface. So uh, let's go to the surface tab and go to the primitive and the plane surface. And let me just bring the bifocal so you can see the name. So this is basically a simple plane surface in the XY uh, plane. So I'm going to give numbers for the X and the Y size. The input uh, uh, are domains, so you can see here that the input is the domain, uh, minus 10 to 10. But you, if you give it a number, okay, you can see that uh, Grasshopper thinks that it's from 0 to that number. So you can always use a number instead of a domain to produce a domain from 0 to that number, and that helps you to produce uh, a domain uh, more efficiently, or if you want to uh, connect easily a number to that, a number slider to that, you can use this technique. So I'm going to give this uh, an X and a Y size. So uh, to start the accordion uh, or the origami uh, form or structure that you saw before, uh, I'm going to uh, use a technique here, okay? So what I'm going to do is to rotate this surface up. So we'll have something like this. And this is the rotation we will have. Then we will give it a mirror. So we'll mirror the surface based on an X or uh, excuse me or YZ plane here. I'm going to give it a YZ plane here, and that will be the results. Then we are going to array this surface or the results based on this uh, distance. Uh, we will double this distance and move on. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to use the rotate axis tool AX and rotate this plane. Uh, the axis of this uh, plane uh, should be a line. So I'm going to deconstruct the plane surface. I'm going to go to the surface tool uh, tab and use the deconstruct erep. And let's just choose an edge here. So we're going to uh, extract this uh, edge from here and use it for the rotation. So I'm going to go to the list item tool or you can just easily search for item and extract the edges. The edge will be 0 so this will be 0, this will be 1 and 2 and this is the 3 or you can just zoom in and have the 0, 1, 2 and 3 and let's give this to the, to the axis you can see that if I give the 2 or the 1 or the 0 you will have different rotation based on the axis you have and it must be a line here so I just use the edge so the next is the angle of rotation so I'm going to right click on the angle and choose the degrees because we want a degree here and let me just give a number here 25 and we can rotate this plane as, as you can see here okay and let's just turn this off so this is the first step of rotating the surface um, basically and easily by the rotate axis tool next we have to produce the mirror so I'm going to use the mirror tool I'm going to mirror mirror this surface you can also see that the default is okay but I'm going to use another tool to extract this plane here so the default is the YZ plane uh, what I'm going to do is 
uh, let me just turn this off again I'm going to deconstruct this plane and use the vertex so I'm going to list item I'm going to the vertex and I'm going to choose uh, between the vertexes so this is 0 1 2 and 3 let's just zoom in so we need just the one and if we if I give a YZ plane here so I'm going to give a YZ plane we will have the mirror uh, mirror plane and it's okay so I'm going to mirror this uh, surface and have it right here and give this to the mirror plane okay so let's just turn this on let's turn this off and here we go this is the most simple way you can produce a linear origami structure easily just by rotation and now we can just uh, multiply this with an array I'm going to use an array linear I'm going to uh, array this one or maybe this one doesn't matter first this one the direction is an x direction and what about the distance is important is that we have different distances based on the rotation. So uh, sometimes this is the distance multiplied by 2. Sometimes this is the distance. So what we can do is use this point, extract its coordinates. So we will have something like this and a x, a y, and a z, and we'll use the x uh, coordinate for the distance. This is the easiest way you can do that. Uh, you can also project this point onto the plane and uh, find the distance between 0, 0 and this point. You can do whatever you want, but this is the most easiest way you can do. So I'm going to use this point and go to the vector and deconstruct uh, the point so we will have the x component and that's the distance that is changing all the time so I'm going to give this the x let me just turn this on multiplied by 2 so that's 2x you have to use the star here and I'm going to give it a 2x This is the first part and the next will be the mirror. So we just connect this and you can also, let me just turn this off, also collect a number to the count. So I'm going to give it a 15 to this and to this. Okay, that's the number of uh, linear array. You want to just extend that origami structure and that's it it's easily done we can change the size of the first plane let's just increase that number you can easily increase the lengths and the x size i can easily change the degrees from zero to maybe it's the maximum is 90 degrees because it's going to close so you can see here okay and here goes the number so I'm going to have seven something like that so uh, that's the maximum like 70 degrees okay so this is easily done by using a, a rotate axis tool and arraying based on a right and a correct distance of rotation and it really helps you to produce a simple uh, origami surface with just basically the simple tools of grasshopper the main and the primitive tools of grasshopper and uh, you will have that okay let's just uh, bake these and you will have the surface and you can use it in your project and to the grasshopper uh, thank you for watching if you have any comments uh, or questions about rotate axis or if you have questions about tools you want to ask feel free to um, put uh, underneath this video uh, also um, feel free to uh, ask your questions in the grasshopper3d.com community we will have uh, 
conversation there also we have questions we will answer to the questions so uh, you can also ask the questions in the grasshopper 3d farm